Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Aguian and here's some of the top stories we have for you tonight. A human fetus is buried in a backyard on St. Croix. The Virgin Islands Police Department find the body of a missing little girl in North Carolina. And visitors once again choose St. Croix as their vacation choice. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. Our top story tonight there is a horrible news coming out of Camp Rico area of St. Croix. Police believe family members buried a human fetus in their backyard. News Channel 8's Wes Small tells us more about this sad story. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Not a good day for this reporter. Not one of the stories anyone likes to see. It was around 6 p.m. Sunday in this neighborhood of Camp Rico. We do believe we know uh, where the house and family is, but uh, this is one of those stories where we just cannot go towards that area. I can tell you that we have a fetus uh, in a miscarriage, we believe, that was buried in the backyard by family members. One of those horrendous stories that brings up the issues of legality. Number one, when is a human fetus uh, legally a human being? As we believe that this fetus was between its second and third trimester. Next is the question of morality. How can you just bury a, a, a human being in the backyard like they were a gerbil, a pet hamster, or a puppy? Unbelievable. The entire community is in shock. Um, we don't know really what to fathom because of this. Uh, all we can do is just go to the professionals. First, Wes, you know I would like to know what's the circumstances circumstances that's surrounding what happened. I feel, I think, like any other person in this community, that it's not okay to bury fetus, children, whatever, in your yard. I don't think that's okay, and I don't think that's a precedent precedent that we want to start setting in the community. However, if there's a young woman or whoever out there that's had a miscarriage or something has happened that caused her to do this, then she, she needs help. Yes, and I know you want to look into the case. It's a very sensitive case. Very, to me, it's a very serious case. To me, a lot of pieces are missing. I mean, how did it get to this point? Uh, is it a miscarriage? Uh, uh, it Was it deliberate, Wes? Did uh, somebody give us something to take? I mean, was the bed child buried because... Um, they were trying to hide something. Or was the child buried because the child was dead, or was the child buried because they was trying to hide something? We don't know any of this. We only thing we know for sure is that fetus was buried, and we all agree that's wrong. But I think what we need to do is call for father investigation and get to the bottom of it, because we don't want this to stop being a reoccurring nightmare, because that's exactly what it is. So for now, that's all we have. Again, 6 p.m. on Sunday evening, we have someone contacting the VIPD saying that there's been a miscarriage and family members have buried a dead fetus in their backyard. As horrendous as this seems, we are still trying to figure out, the authorities anyway, what crimes have been committed. Uh, that can only come after an autopsy and then the legal issues will come about. We are in Campo Rico. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And in other news, tragedy has claimed the life of another small child, this time in North Carolina. The body of little Shania Davis has been found by members of the Virgin Islands Canine Police Force. The Canine Force happened to be in the area for training. We now go to our sister ABC affiliate, WTVD Eyewitness News in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm Jay Kristen along Walker Road in Lee County, where little Shania Davis's body was found by searchers around 1 o'clock this afternoon. Here's how Eyewitness News had the only camera on the scene when the discovery was made. Our truck operator, Stina Courier, noticed the car was still on Walker Road even after police officially
really ended their search out here. Photojournalist Chris Hart and I went down the road, saw officers volunteering here while they're in town for training from the U.S. Virgin Islands for canine training. So we got out, he shot some video of them doing some searching in the kudzu with their dog, and they found Davis's body about 40 feet from the road. Steve, a very somber mood here at police headquarters. As you can imagine, that news conference just wrapped up, and here is what they're telling us. Shania's body has not been positively identified, but searchers at the scene tell Eyewitness News the remains found today off Highway 87 and Walker Road are believed to be that of the missing five-year-old. The search is over, but the criminal investigation continues. Shania's mother, Antoinette Davis, and the man accused of kidnapping her, Mario McNeil, are facing several charges, but right now police tell us those charges do not include murder. Investigators say they're still trying to piece together this case. The body has not been removed from the scene. As you mentioned, they are waiting for the SBI to get there. So family members have not been able to identify the child. They may be, however, called to the scene later. It's on the, the, the state of the body, if it's decomposed so badly that you can't identify it, um, that you have to use DNA or alternate methods of identification. It just depends on the state of the body and, and the SBI. Well, in addition to whether there will be murder charges, authorities also have to decide what county Steve has jurisdiction over this case. Just because the child's body has been found in one area doesn't mean that's where the crime was committed. So obviously there are a lot of loose ends still in this investigation, and we will continue to follow it here at the Fayetteville Police Department. All right, thanks, Cameron Gibbs, live in Fayetteville tonight. Eyewitness News was just a few feet from the searchers when they discovered the body, and as you can imagine, they were in shock. Here's the location, a map to show you where this is happening. It's right on the Lee Harnett County line off Walker Road, just west of Highway 87. This is where the search has been focused for the past two days. Shea Christen is there live with the very latest details for us. Shea. Yes, Steve, shortly after police ended their official search out here on Walker Road and opened it back up, we found a group of volunteer officers with canines researching the same area, making the discovery, and our cameras were right there. Founder? All right, what call off? Less than 40 feet from the side of Walker Road, under thick kudzu, little Shania Davis's body is found. These officers are volunteers from the U.S. Virgin Islands in Sanford at the Tar Heel Canine Training Facility. Their training clearly pays off. We got a tip. Somebody in the parking lot said that they had heard on the news or something that they, uh, the guy admitted to killing the young child and dumping her where there was deer carcasses and trash. And we remember driving through here earlier and smelling something pretty nasty. So we came back to check it, and sure enough, there were deer carcasses and trash. And then some of the officers from the Virgin Islands went through here and actually saw her in there and the dogs were showing a lot of interest so we checked it out and confirmed and yet they credit the dogs but a lot of credit goes out to all the volunteers and now we have some information on that small plane crash that claimed the life of three people here on st croix the national transportation and safety board said that overweight luggage could have been the cause of the accident that claimed the life of david bentley mark Atchley, and elam king the report released recently said that the three oversized bags that the passengers brought on board could have caused the crash. The doomed Cessna 177 crashed into a farm field on October 29th. According to the Virgin Islands Police Detective, the plane had trouble maintaining altitude shortly after takeoff. The Fraternity Brothers of St. Croix have gotten together to celebrate Achievement Week here in the Virgin Islands. The event will be held on November 21st on the Christiansted Wharf beside King's Alley. Pleasant's Restaurant will be the place this Saturday at 7 p.m. And stay with us on Channel 8 News. We have more after the break.